Okay, here we have 134,475 feet. We are 600, about 600 feet uh, to go from first place. So probably in 10 to 15 minutes we will know if we have it. We're looking at ascent rate, UV deterioration, balloon performance, uh, and all these points are converging together. Will it happen in Ron, Lee, and Frank's favor? We're also proceeding closer to Highway uh, 580, which will make recovery of the payload package better. Yes, and here we go. We are still climbing. This is it. The moment of truth. And we'll get it on video as it happens. Time is uh, 10.44. Damn. Camera clock is 10.39. So, camera clock is five minutes behind. Here we go. We are three, about 300 feet from setting an amateur balloon record. And besides, it will come down, hopefully, in an area that's um, accessible. One thirty four seven ninety feet. We are still climbing. Wonder if I can find Ron's phone number, I'll give him a call. 134, 826 feet. I'm also logging from Outpost. One thirty four, eight forty two feet. Less than two hundred fifty feet from first place. That ascent rate was very slow. The packet version eight forty six feet, it's hovering. As it reached the floating point, will the UV cause the rubber to expand a little more and get a little more climb? Ron, Lee, and Frank do not have advantage of getting money from a university. And we are still climbing. Ten forty seven AM. Camera time shows ten forty two. Camera time is five minutes behind. Packet burst. Take a look at this. 134, 931 feet, 99 feet from an amateur balloon record. I bet Ron, Lee, and Frank, and everybody else, the Straddle Fox, are just, you know, at the moment of truth.
And take a look at this packet transmission coming in. See that? 134.993 feet. Just like with the X-15 setting an altitude record, will they get it? Well, at 10.48 a.m. Pacific, the California Near Space Record is now the highest amateur balloon. Amateur balloon, meaning they have to pay for it out of their own pocket. They do not get funding from government, corporations, or universities. Now, if they had hundred more, several hundred thousand, they can get higher, but still. <clears throat> then the question is, how high can they go? We so far got 72 feet above the 135K. And we're over Highway 580. So now we're in an area where it's not mountainous terrain. Um, but at this point, you know, just to have that data saying their first place. And get a little more altitude, this will kind of put some padding on this. We are still climbing. Uh, we got a considerable altitude above Cornell University. And this is our local team. Perhaps I'm wondering if I find that email of uh, the Mercury News and kind of let them know. I believe that was uh, Lisa. 135. 184 feet. Well, it's going to take up a lot of space on a DVD, but we're going to follow this. Make an announcement on N6 NFI. Below all stations, below all stations. This is K6 MFW. The California Near Space Project K6 RPT 11 is now the highest altitude of amateur balloon. It is at 135,226 feet and still climbing over Highway 580 and 5 in Central California. K6RPT-11, you can follow it on APRS.FI. This is Ron Meadows, K6RPT. He is the highest amateur balloon. K6MFW out.